Hey YouTubers, so I went and bought a power station and it was the cheapest one I could find on Amazon. So I thought I'd give first impressions and a full on review. So if you're interested in a power station and you don't want to spend too much money, then stay tuned and find out what I thought of the engine star. Okay, so a couple of facts. First off, I only paid £175 for my engine star, and that was on an Amazon deal. So I did spend my own money to review this product. However, I've now noticed it's gone back up to £249. Now, when you start pricing that against the Jackery, then the price-wise becomes very similar. But at the time of purchase, this was the cheapest, and it was £175. Okay, so what do we get in the box? Well, first off, you get the engine star power station which basically is just a battery with a handle on and a nice torch but we'll get to that inside the box you get your cables you get your standard chunky 230 volt standard ac charger and then you get the cigarette charger so you can charge while you're driving this will take a long time to obviously charge the uh, engine star by driving but you know you don't waste any of that energy that your engine's producing so while you're driving you might as well plug it in and give it a top up okay so estimated charging hours if you plug it into mains uh which is through here then they reckon about five hours charging time which fits in roughly to my testing i've not been able to test it out on uh, using a solar panel because I don't have one, but it recommends between six to eight hours via a solar panel. So you could leave it out all day in the sun and then come back and then you get your, your, your charge. If you're driving using the cigarette lighter, then that's eight to 10 hours of driving. So certainly in the UK, no one's doing eight to 10 hours. So you're probably not gonna get a full charge from driving, but it'll top it up. So that's what you put into it. What do you get out of it? So you can charge your mobile phone for about 20 times, they, they say on the instructions. Uh, your laptop, three full charges. I, I actually think that's a lot more. I guess it depends on your laptop size of laptop. Uh, but I've, I think I've managed to get about four or five charges out of this so far. Uh, and also your cooler box, your 12 volt cooler box. I could keep that going for eight hours if I really wanted to, which is great for a weekend. You're only really going to run it for a few hours in the morning uh, just to keep it cool, to uh, keep the milk, etc. Okay, so on the front, if you press once, that turns it on. Now, if the engine star doesn't feel anything drawing any power from it, it will turn itself off after 20 seconds. So certainly things like for fridges, which sometimes will turn power on and off depending on the thermostat. If you want it to run a fridge, they recommend you double tap, which keeps the engine star on at all times. So you can turn it on and it gives you light. Now, I would never have thought the logic of having a light, but it's so light, you could really use this as a torch, if need be, in an emergency. And then you've also got a strobe light on there, a lesser strobe light, and then off. So the weight, which everybody's interested in, is 2.9 kilograms. Which is hardly anything really. Uh, and that gives you a portable power station. So lightweight, very compact. So let's talk about the front of the engine star. So you've got your standard three pin plug. And what I like about this is it actually is this way. So the cable will be coming through this way and not down here, uh, which you see with the Jackery, uh, which I think is a huge improvement on the engine star, you've got your standard 12 volt or cigarette lighter, as we all know it as. You've then got the AC on button, got USB A, and then you've got USB C charger for a lot of the modern phones, and then you've got your DC uh, output, and then you've got your uh, 12 volt input, which is your cigarette lighter uh, power button. You've got your indicator here on your percentage. It'd be nice to have a percentage on here. You've got your USB wattage, your DC wattage, and then if you turn on the AC, you hear the fan kind of kick in. 
and then your show shows you the AC wattage and then of course you've got your torch light here press and hold to turn off it's charging the laptop power on AC and you should see eventually you see I'm taking 25 watts out of the engine star there's me with my phone plugged in by a USB cable and it's shown the wattage there so price wise when you compare it against the Jackery you're looking at 259 uh, which is around about the same price this is on 249 on Amazon so you know, 20 pounds more and you only get 230 volts or 200 watts pure sine wave uh, and that's 240 watt hours so if you can compare it to Jackery with the engine star similar price you technically on the numbers and on paper get more for your money with the engine star So, what do I think of it? First impressions is very good. Uh, great price, like I say, £175 on Amazon. It has gone up to 249 at the moment, but I would keep an eye out and see if it drops back down and they do, you know, Black Fridays, all that sort of stuff. I, I love it. Uh, I probably wouldn't have paid 249 for one, but then I don't think I need one of that much. However, powering my laptop, my fan, my cool box, all that kind of jazz, uh, I think it's going to come in handy. So I'm impressed, but again, still early days. Do I recommend it? I think I need to use it a bit more, but certainly I've not found any faults with it so far. Uh, let's see how many times it recharges, how it runs, etc. But so far, I like it. It's very good. So there you go then, another video and a review on the Engine Star Power Station. Let me know in the comments below if you've got one, if you own one, what you think of them. Or if you've got a Jackery and you want to compare, etc., then by all means, ask me any questions and I'll try to help out. If you like what I'm doing, click the subscribe button and uh, hopefully a lot more reviews, a lot more products and also a lot more adventures. Catch you soon. See you later. Bye.